Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm excited to talk about this product that I purchased about a month ago. This is the PowerWorks MPPT solar charge controller and it's dedicated for lithium iron phosphate batteries because it terminates at 14.6 volts. Now they do make two of these. They have this 300 watt model and they also have a 150 watt model that is a little bit cheaper, a little bit smaller. Now these are perfect because they're so compact. You can basically fit them in any battery build or you know any project that you're looking for, whether that be a van that you're gonna convert over to camping or in the back of your truck. If you wanna charge up a lithium iron phosphate battery, this is a great option. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this outside, do some solar testing, and then after that, we're gonna be doing some testing on the minimum input voltage and to see if it works with a DC power supply. So hopefully you guys are excited. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Good morning, everyone. Let's go ahead and do some solar testing. I have 280 watt Bouge RV solar panels connected together in parallel. Now you can see they're shaded by this tree right here. Sun's just barely coming up. So have quite a bit of shade. We're not gonna see excellent power right now. It's super early. I just wanted to set these out all day to see if they can charge up my large battery using that budget solar charge controller. Now the solar conditions are really good today. Uh, it's around 55 degrees, at least the high should be around 55 degrees. Really clear, just got some uh, haze in this guy. So. so you'll notice the solar panels are slanted really high up. That's because it's late fall here, so the sun is really low in the sky. So to get the most power, we have to tilt them up this far. Let's go inside and check out the charge controller. Okay, I'm here in my mudroom in the basement. I have the solar panel coming in to the charge controller, and then between the battery and the charge controller, I have a watt meter just to see what the power is. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at that. Okay, so on the watt meter, we're showing 9.74 amps coming in. The battery is sitting at 13.79 volts. We're getting 133 watts input. So pretty good charge for being partially shaded. Uh, let's go ahead and let this sit. And hopefully this will get all the way up to 14.6. That'll be fully charged. I'll come back in and check on it in a couple hours. Okay, now it's finished charging. I can't believe that actually charged in about uh, an hour and a half. So technically I should have had this much lower so I could have seen you know, it charging over a longer period of time. So uh, I have my solar panels coming in here into the MPPT solar charge controller with the watt meter in line. That was just measuring the voltage and the amps. Now it appears that this puts out 14.6 volts constantly. And so once your battery gets up to 14.6, the BMS is gonna turn off the charging, which it did. And uh, then the charger is basically just sitting idle. Now what's really nice about this budget solar charge controller is it has a wide input rating. So it supports 20 volts up to 50 volts. So you can handle two panels in parallel, which means the voltage stays the same and the amps are doubled. Or you can put two panels in series, which means you double the voltage and the amperage stays the same. So uh, whatever works best for you, you can do that with this budget solar charge controller. And remember it has the ability to charge up to 300 watts. Chickens are out working with me today. Okay guys, we're back inside. There's two other tests I wanna do just to make sure that this works properly before I recommend it. Now, if you remember the specs on this was 20 volts to 50 volts input, and there's some solar panels that don't put out quite 20 volts. So I wanna test what the minimum input voltage is to get this charging up. So I have my adjustable power supply set at 16 and a half volts. Let's go ahead and connect this up and see if it will actually accept a charge and work properly with this lower voltage. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and connect it and see if we get any reaction. Okay, so we didn't get anything. That means it's not high enough. Let's go ahead and disconnect it and go up to a higher voltage. Okay, let's try 17 volts now. Okay, nothing there. Disconnect it. Okay, now we're at 17 and a half volts. Let's see if this uh, starts the charging. Okay, so it does look like as long as you have 17 and a half volts coming in, the charger will start charging. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is take a 24 volt power supply and plug it in to see if we can get max charging. Um, so this is a 24 volt, 15 amp charger. It's right around uh, 350 watts or so. So let's go ahead and plug this in and see what happens. Okay guys, this is what we're getting into the battery right now. 18.68 amps at 14.3 volts. So the battery is sitting at 14.3 volts. We're getting 265. Now I did see a max of 285. This is pretty awesome. So as long as you have 17.5 volts coming into the charge controller, you could use solar panels 
or a DC power supply to charge up your battery. And that's pretty awesome to have that flexibility. Now, overall, the size and form factor of this is really nice and it's really efficient because it's actually not hot at all, even at charging near 300 watts. Now, when you purchase this, you just get the bare charger with no adapters. It does come with the MC4 connections to connect up your solar panel and they are labeled with the proper polarity. And then you have the output, which is Anderson power pole. Now you'll have to buy an adapter that goes to whatever your battery connection is, or you can learn how to crimp and set these up yourself. I have a video on my channel about how to set these up. So I'll include that in the video description down below. Now here's some model information and SKU numbers, just in case you can't find this on Amazon in the future, maybe you could find it somewhere else online. So hopefully this information is helpful. Now this charge controller would be perfect for anybody that's wanting a really compact setup. Now this would be perfect for putting in a DIY battery box or mounting in you know, a van or a truck that you're gonna be using for camping because this could just mount basically anywhere and have your solar panels plugged in and connected up to your battery. Now for the price, this was a great option. Once again, I did buy this with my own money. This is not a sponsored video and I've been very happy with the performance. So I have no intention of returning or you know, selling this off. I'm gonna to plan to use it in the future build. If you guys found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up on the video. And if you guys have any questions or comments about this charger, go ahead and throw a comment down below. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Hey.